Mindset is everything. So on Wednesday, all day long, you are psyching yourself up. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I get this question all of the time. Hey, Glendon, should I write a business plan? What's the business best business plan software? How should I start my business plan? Should I have a business plan? Should I just wing it? Should I just do all of this stuff? And the truth of the matter is you need to get started. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to write a business plan and when to write a business plan. You're looking to make your life better. Well, if you are, I've got some for you. Go below, first link below, hustlerskungfulifeskills.com and you can get free 19 courses. That's right, free 19 business courses, life skill courses, fix your credit, start a business, get your child support situation straightened out, get your mind right. That's right, get your mind right. Because without the right mindset, you're not going far, playboy. First link below, get started today. This is what you do to start writing your business plan. It's going to weird you out a little bit, but just hold on. Until you sell somebody, until someone says, here's my credit card, here's some cash. It's bullshit. I don't care how long you worked on it. I don't care how much you polished it and shined it up and everything. Until you sell something, until you get money, it's bullshit. It's fiction. It's hyperbole. It's fantasy. Money makes it real. Get started. Your, your business plan should be like that. Just a few lines. What you're selling. Who you're selling to. How hard would it be to get your service or process together? That's your business plan. That's the stuff that you need to start with. Because if you're out there trying to get the perfect business plan, right? If you're trying to make sure it's the mother of all business plans, it's the best business plan in the world, you are screwing yourself. I suggest that you do these two things. Number one, identify your target mar market, your audience, who you're going to sell to. Number two, create a minimal variable service or product. Number three, try to sell it to them for 30 days. Also, to light a fire under your ass, go ahead and get incorporated. Whether it's an S Corp, C Corp, an LLC, Pick one. Do your research before you file any paperwork. Do your research. Make sure that this thing is situated for your long-term goals and estate planning, legacy, so on and so forth. You, you've got your stuff. You've got your one-page template. It's not your business plan yet. It's your template. And you're out there in the marketplace and you're selling. Now, the first thing you should do is try to sell your concept, product, or service. You should try to pre-sell it. First thing. Because if you go to 100 people and they all say, no, playboy, something's wrong. If, you know, you go to 100 people and 30 say yes, you've got something going on there. If you go to 100 people and 90 people say yes, you really got something going on there. But if you go to 100 people and most say no, most being 90 some percent, there's some big, there's some wrong with your plan. Now the thing is, you have found this out before you've risked a dime, before you've put significant time in this. And many people will put huge money into a project before doing any of this, just off assumption. Assumption can be deadly. I'll give you an example. I am creating a new business, Attention Graphics Media. I'm gonna go ahead and do the corporate structure but I'm also, I've been testing for about a year. So I know who my market is. I know who I'm going to sell to. And I know who's going to be my client. But I was in no hurry to get this thing off the ground. Now, for those of you who are like in a hurry, this is the process. Take a weekend. Take a whole weekend. And you set it up on Monday where you start writing out your activities. 
you don't do anything. What you do is you create your, your template, which is who your customer is, marketplace, what you're going to sell them, how much you're going to sell them, how hard it is to fulfill those things. And then you identify your market and you start figuring out where they hang out. Then you start talking to them. That's what you're going to do on Monday. Then Tuesday, once you get a little feedback, then you're going to do a little logo. You can go to Fiverr, get a logo, five bucks to maybe 50. You know, if you go for the enhanced services, get yourself a little logo. You go, yeah, you're going to spend a little money. Now, Monday, you've you set your 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 plan in motion. Tuesday, you're taking action. You got your logo. Uh, if you need a phone number and you don't want to use your cell phone, get a Google Voice number. Have it transferred to your cell phone. Whatever way you're going to do it. Then Wednesday, you start prepping mentally. You start telling yourself, I can do this. I know that sounds really, really crazy. I know you're looking at me like, huh? I'm looking for a way to do this. See, this is the problem that many of you have. You want to start a business. You want to get started. You want to start making some money. You hate your job. But you don't believe that you can do this. How do I know this? If you believed it, you would have started and you never would have saw my videos because your business would be up and running. You don't believe you can do it. Seriously, that's one of the biggest hurdles that you're going to have to get around. You don't believe that you can do it if you're father or your mother or your grandfather or a friend or an aunt go, mm, I don't know about that. You fucked up for the whole week. Mindset is everything. So on Wednesday, all day long, you are psyching yourself up. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Then on Thursday, you can slow it up a little bit because it should be a rhythm. It should be your mantra. Then you've got everything written out. Then if you got a job, you will make a commitment, take a vacation day, and start prepping for Friday. Friday, you get up, you make your phone calls, you send out your emails. From Friday to Sunday, you should be nothing but this blur of activity. You tell your friends, tell you, hey, I can't hang, you're married. You, know, you tell your husband, your wife, it's like, hey, help me with this or get out of my way. Seriously, I've got something that's going to benefit the family, so watch out. And you do this for the whole weekend. Then Sunday... You take all of your information and you put it down on a sheet of paper. You start figuring out how many people said no, how many people said yes. Do I need to change this? Do I need to change that? And at this point, you begin the beginning page of your business, business plan because you're going to do this every week for the next four weeks. That's hence the 30 days. Then once this 30 day process is over, you're going to sit down and you're going to take all of your feedback, right? Take all your feedback at the end of 30 days, and then you start writing your business plan from that standpoint. Because why is this important? You've talked to customers. You've got either yeses or noes. If you've gotten a bunch of noes, you probably need to repeat this whole process again next month until you get more yeses. Because you don't have a lot of money. I totally get that. You may not even have a lot of time. I totally get that. But this formula, this, this way of vetting your business is going to save you a lot of time. It's going to save you a lot of money because you'll go into the marketplace with your business winning. You'll go in winning. It's going to be hard. It's going to be rough. You're going to get frustrated, but this is how you'll make a lot of money down the road because you're setting your business up properly on information. Many business plans are like Moby Dick, great works of fiction. But your business plan will be rooted in real people, real numbers, real time, real services. And then it will be more viable. And you will also have more confidence because you've actually been out there in the marketplace. You've been talking to people. You've been selling stuff or you've been trying to sell stuff. And this is wash, rinse and repeat. There's nothing sexy about success except the results. The real success, which is getting up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym before you go to work. The real success is, you know, working 80 hours a week when nobody's looking and people think you're crazy. That's the real success, and that's what this process is about. By taking the time to research and analyze and get feedback from the marketplace, you're in a position to create a killer and winning business plan Versus just this thing that looks really tight on paper and it's like, oh, my, my business plan is just killer, right? But you ain't sold shit to anybody. 
until you sell somebody, until someone says, here's my credit card, here's some cash. It's bullshit. I don't care how long you worked on it. I don't care how much you polished it and shined it up and everything. Until you sell something, until you get money, it's bullshit. It's fiction. It's hyperbole. It's fantasy. Money makes it real. If you like the content of this video, and you should, like, subscribe, and comment. Also, for those of you who are here at the end, today begins the new journey. What we're going to do, let me give you the format. First, I want you to go below and get the free 19 business courses. HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com They're free. I'm not going to put a price on them. They're going to charge you. If you want to pay something, pay what you want at some point because you find value, cool. Now, the next stage, which is Income Sandbox and HustlersKungFuDojo.com Now, those are paid services. That's going to be a forum and... HustlersKungFuDojo.com is going to be another training portal. Imagine it as grad school. HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com is undergrad, public education, community education. It's free, right? Then you go to grad school and you got to pay a little bit more. You got to pay some money. You got to pay your own way. You got to man the fuck up or man a woman the fuck up. And what we're going to do starting in May is you're going to get an account executive or account manager. This is going to be a person who's going to call you up on the phone and be like, hey, how you doing? And they're going to answer your questions and walk you through the modules and walk you through the courses. So you sign up now. It is $69.99. If you wait until May, it's going to be $99 to maybe $150 a month. So that's the deal. Everyone that signs up now, this is what you get. You already get HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com free. You will get Income Sandbox, which is the forum where people are talking about business, Income Sandbox, you know, how to make money. And you'll get the training module of HustlersKungFuDojo.com, which is like the grad school. There are some courses in HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com that I was going to make a advanced module and I was like, okay, well, this is working where it is. So I'm going to make those courses at HustlersKungFuDojo.com. Also, I got a designer working on the design. So everyone that signs up now for the $69.99, you're going to get this badass t-shirt. It's not ready yet, but you're going to get it. That's for the $69.99. So links below. Got to sign up before May to get all of those services. So that's how it's working. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. You're looking to make your life better. Well, if you are, I've got something for you. Go below. First link below. HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com And you can get free 19 courses. That's right. Free 19 business courses, life skill courses, fix your credit Start a business, get your child support situation straightened out, get your mind right. That's right. Get your mind right. Because without the right mindset, you're not going far, playboy. First link below, get started today.